So today we're going to make lamb dhan sak, which is one of my favorite dishes from my childhood. It's comforting, it's nourishing, and it's easy. It's a one pot dish. Is it hot enough for you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, welcome back. We're here with Chef Jay, the gourmet Indian chef, and today we're making lamb dansak. Please tell us how it's done. So lamb dansak, uh, it's actually traditionally made with mutton back in India. Um, this is a dish which was uh, very popular in the town where I went to school, college, and also we, where I used to travel to uh, when I was a child, Pune, Pune, uh, which had a, 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 a significant amount of Parsi population. Parsis were immigrants from Persia who immigrated a few hundred years ago um, to India, and uh, their cuisine um, is, is, is absolutely delicious, as is every other cuisine, I, I guess, but their cuisine is specifically very close to my heart. I have a few very close Parsi friends. And this was one of the dishes that we shared with them uh, while, when I was a child. Um, so this is my version, which is a simplified version of the dansak, which traditionally comes with five different kinds of lentils and three different kinds of chilies and, 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 and squash and potatoes and what, what have you. But I have condensed it into what I believe is, is a delicious, comfortable dish that is easy to make at home. So, so would you say that this is a convergence of Persian and Indian food together? I would think so, yes, yes. Spices, uh, obviously, and then Persian food. Pers Persia also is full of spices. Yeah. Uh, but yes, this is traditionally, uh, I think it's more Persian than Indian, than even Indian. Fantastic. Yeah. So um, let me introduce you to the ingredients. We have our two and a half pounds uh, of lamb shoulder, which has been cubed with some fat left on, marinated in ginger garlic paste, uh, as usual, and some salt. We have our uh, masala, which is the dansak masala, which is simple in my case. It's cardamom, cinnamon, uh, and cloves. Um, we have some turmeric and ration putto chili powder here. We have coriander and cumin, toasted and freshly ground. And we have some freshly ground toasted fennel seeds, also, gr also ground. Then we have a masala, which is the spice masala that we make, is the uh, cilantro, mint, uh, ginger, garlic, um, what else we put? Red chilies, and uh, that's about onion. it. And onion, uh, no onion, onions on the side, my love. We have masoor dal, which is just one cup of masoor dal, which has been soaked, and then it increases in volume because it sucks up all the water. We have some eggplant. Um, this is the traditional Italian eggplant here. Uh, unfortunately, the fairy tale eggplant which grows in India is not, is not available here, so I've used the Italian eggplant. But to take out the bitterness, we've salted it ahead of time and left it aside to, and then rinsed it in water. And then we are adding potatoes here to add some hardiness to the dish. So without further ado, let's begin with the cooking process. So as always, you can find the recipe in the comments section down below. And while you're going to look at that, please remember to go and subscribe to us right now while you're watching this video before you forget. Please, let's continue. Okay, and we will start with adding in our onion. Now we want to saute them a little bit. We want to sear them, not sear, I'm sorry. We, want, we don't want to caramelize them. We, want, we don't want any color. We just want to sweat them a little bit. Are you like using red onions? Is there... Red onions are traditionally used in India. I like the flavor, the spice. So you see they're sweating now, so it's kind of ready. So we can start with the rest of our masala. And toast it, we'll start with the spices, with cumin and coriander first. And fennel powder. We'll mix it a little bit. Add on the turmeric and the Grisham Putto chili powder. And I see you're scraping the bottom of the pan. Yeah, we, and, and, uh, you can also do it with some water if you feel the spices are burning a little bit. You can add in some water just to deglaze what we call in, in uh, 
French cooking, deglazing the pan, the pot, so you don't want the spices to stick to the bottom and, and burn. Yep. Right, and now we're going to add the, the Dansak masala. Now we'll add the potatoes. Let them imbibe the spices. And now we're putting the masala, the, the wet masala rather, and the lamb. As we go, we're mixing and turning the spices. We add the eggplant and the dal. And pour in the water. bring it to a boil again and then we'll simmer it for about 30 minutes and we should be good to go. So I think our lamb dansak is ready now and voila! Give it a stir to bring it all together. Doesn't it look delicious love? It really does. If it didn't have lamb in it you'd be eating it. I would. Yeah. I love that the um the lentils, you can't really see them yeah. very well, but they've thickened. They've, they've, bind, they've bound together, bound and yeah, the they've, they've come to they really bring the dish together. Beautiful. That, in conjunction with the potatoes, mm -hmm. brings the whole dish together very well. Get to tasting. Let me blow on it a little bit. Is it hot enough for you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Delicious, hearty, nourishing, and flavorful. Can't ask for better. This is another one in our series of uh, comfort foods. Mutton dansak. I'm Jay, the gourmet Indian chef, and I got you. Cut, 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 cut. Are we done yet? <laughs> <laughs>